Hey, yo, what's up, everybody? Home here, and welcome back to more Monster Hunter World Beta. Today, I'm gonna be doing a time attack on the Nerd Gigante, and I'm gonna be using a longsword. And as you guys will probably see on the title, um, I got him in the six minute and 30 something second mark. Um, probably could have gone faster if I knew that um, the paralysis or the paralyzed knives work because uh, the first time when I fought him uh, I probably missed because obviously it works so uh, I missed and I probably missed some more before and yeah so I had to stop in my head like oh that shit doesn't work on him I guess but poison will work so that's the whole time I thought only poison worked until I actually did the fight and paralyzing works and I was like holy shit it actually works um, but yeah, and I try to fight a little bit more, but this is the best I got right now and uh, It is It is 5 a.m. in the morning right now, and I would try some more, but I got work later uh, So I'm only gonna get like, I don't know, hopefully five hours of sleep So yeah, and the beta ends today later today on 6 p.m. at uh, Pacific time zone, so I don't got time. And this is the best I got right now, so yeah. And pretty much, you like, you're gonna have to kind of tank it a little bit in the beginning, but you know, make sure you don't tank too much like heavy attacks, otherwise, you could fuck you right up. And also, your cat, I'm using the healing for the cat, the healing perk. Uh, I don't know, there's probably a specific name for it, but I'm using the, the heal for it right now. And um, yeah, because I don't know, I I didn't go for flash because I'm just trying to take this guy down as as fast as possible right now. And also, um, if I'm doing this little bit of tank in the beginning, I want my cat to be healing me as I'm trying to tank him and down him as much as possible. I've never actually attempt attempted this this kind of stuff before. That 14 minute fight that you guys saw me do. That's usually how I play. I play all cautious, you know, make sure I got all these traps, um, and take my time, make sure I sharpen my weapon, make sure I heal low every time I get scratched or whatever, uh, run away when the monster's pissed off and doing some crazy combos, shit like that. That's usually how I play, like really careful, really cautious. Um, but when I was looking at videos of Monster in the Beta, I see like all these people, all these crazy ass hunters that are doing these crazy little challenges where they take them down like three minutes four minutes five minutes i'm like holy shit man i'm like i i thought i was pretty decent in the game since i've been playing this when i was young no i know they changed a lot of mechanics and stuff like that and i don't know them all but i thought i was decent but seeing those guys take down monsters like this super fast within like four minutes and shit like that oh my goodness I'm like, okay, let me try some of that. Uh, let me get some of that uh, freaking time attack kind of stuff. So, yeah, this... After the first, um, the Nerd Gigante fight that you guys saw me upload, that 14 minute one, after that one, this is pretty much what I've been trying every time I had time. And I don't really have time. I only get like, I don't know, about like 5 hours of gameplay. And then, not much time to sleep, like 6 hours. So yeah, just to try to get some time attack down here. And usually if my weapon drops to yellow, I would try to um, do sharpen my weapon. But right now I'm just trying to I'm just trying to down him and use spirit blade to to get some hits in as much as possible. So now that he is limping away already within five minutes right now, he's limping away at five minutes. Within five minutes actually. And right here I'm blasting with poison poison knives, because that's I still, at this point, I still believe that like paralysis or paralyzed knives don't work. But I, the reason I'm even hitting him with the knives is because I'm hoping to stun him so he doesn't run away anymore. And lo and behold, it freaking stuns him right here. And I was like, holy shit, it actually stunned him. And <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah, just trying to get some massive damage in as possible, as quick as possible. Um, if you want to get like short time, you're gonna have to keep stunning him without getting, well, without fucking up. So, yeah, you're gonna have to make every move count if you want to get like super fast time, but I've screwed up. Um, you can actually, with Longsword, you can actually counter, you can do the counter on his, um, on his roar. 
but um, yeah, then I ended up taking Roar, so my character was stunned for a little bit. And right here, I'm trying to get the mount off on him because I know he goes under the bridge here. And boom, I didn't get the mount off, and he is about to do his dive bomb spike attack, which can KO me if I fucked up the dodge right here, but I didn't, so that was great. And it bounced. I hit his horn instead. I was trying to get, her, get his face and whoa, holy crap. He almost, he almost ended my life right there. If that attack had connected, I would have He's pretty much in his uh, second stage now, or what? Uh, there's a comment that says it's called the Rage. It's called the Rage Mo Holmes. Oh, my bad. I'm calling it a second phase, anyways. <laughs> Cause um, I think his his, his attack pattern will stay just like this. Like it will not change, even if he's not. I think he's gonna be pissed the entire time. Like he will not be not pissed because he's almost he's almost dead. So yeah. Um, let's see. So pretty much, you're gonna have to, if you wanna do like these time attack crap, it's either you're gonna be really lucky or really skilled, like really, really skilled, um, in order to kill them fast to begin with, or you're gonna have to learn the monster's attack patterns and stuff so you'll know all the openings, which I tried my best to learn all the attack, um, which I know will, like pretty much all his attacks now. It's just that sometimes I fuck with the timing so I can't like counter properly or damage him properly. But yeah, that's pretty much gonna wrap it up for this little time attack thing. Uh, not really a guide, just kind of a I don't know, challenge video thing. But yeah, um, yeah, this is the first time I've ever done this. I never actually attempted these like short time monster solo kills or whatever and i gotta say it's pretty fun it's, <laughs> it's pretty fun to try to murder the monster as quick as possible and um yeah i'm probably gonna be trying more of this these kind of things out once the actual game comes out so if they have g rank i'll probably be trying that but yeah that's pretty much gonna wrap it up for this video so i thank you all for watching hopefully you guys, y'all will find, well, have found this video to be entertaining and enjoyable. And if y'all found both of those qualities to be in this video, then hey, stay tuned for the actual game release because I'm going to be posting a shitload of that. Uh, but until then, I'll see y'all later. Holmes, out.